O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord Jesus, think on me, and purge away my sins. From earthborn passion set me free, and make me pure with thee. Lord Jesus, think on me, with care and woe oppressed. Let me thy loving servant be, and taste thy promised rest. Lord Jesus, think on me, amid the battle strife, in all my pain and misery, be thou my health and life. Lord Jesus, think on me, nor let me go astray, through darkness and perplexity, point thou the heavenly way. You are the fairest of the children of men, and graciousness is poured upon your lips. My heart overflows with noble words. To the King I must speak the song I've made. My tongue is nimble as the pen of a scribe. You are the fairest of the children of men, and graciousness is poured upon your lips. Because God has blessed you forevermore, O mighty one, gird your sword upon your thigh, in splendour and state, right and in triumph, for the cause of truth and goodness and right. Take aim with your bow in your dread right hand, your arrows are sharp, peoples fall beneath you, the foes of the king fall down and lose heart. Your throne, O God, shall endure forever. A scepter of justice is the scepter of your kingdom. Your love is for justice, your hatred for evil. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above other kings. Your robes are fragrant with alice and myrrh. From the ivory palace you are greeted with music. The daughters of kings are among your loved ones, and your right sends a queen in gold of Ophir. Give praise to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and for ages unending. Amen. You are the fairest of the children of men, in graciousness is poured upon your lips. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out and meet him. Listen, no daughter, give it my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your Lord, pay homage to him. And the people of Tyre shall come with gifts. 
The righteous of the people shall seek your favour. The door of the king is clothed with splendour. Her robes embroidered with pearls set in gold. She is led to the king with her maiden companions. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. Sun shall be yours in place of your fathers. You will make them princes over all the earth. May this song make your name forever remembered. May the peoples praise you from age to age. Give praise to the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit, both now and for ages and ending. Amen. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out and meet him. God planned to bring all things together under Christ when the fullness of time had come. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us, in all wisdom and insight, the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God planned to bring all things together under Christ when the fullness of time had come. My brothers, I implore you by God's mercy to offer your very souls to him, a living sacrifice, dedicated and fit for his acceptance, the worship offered by mind and heart. Adapt yourselves no longer to the pattern of this present world, but let your minds be remade and your whole nature thus transformed. Then you will be able to discern the will of God and to know what is good, acceptable and perfect. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Do not judge, and you will not be judged, because the judgments you give are the judgments you will receive says the Lord. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercy is from age to age. On those who fear him. 
he puts for his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel's his servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. Do not judge, and you will not be judged, because the judgments you give are the judgments you will receive says the Lord. Let us praise God the Father, who hears the prayers of his children and grants what they ask. Lord, have mercy on your people. Lord, on Sinai, Sinai, you gave the law to Moses and completed it through Christ. Write your law in the hearts of men that they may be faithful to your covenant. Lord have mercy on your people. Help us to create a community where people care for one another. Let us work together for the good of all. Lord have mercy on your people. Strengthen missionaries when their courage fails. Send them helpers to gather in your harvest. Lord, have mercy on your people. May children grow strong in grace. May the young advance in your love. Lord, have mercy on your people. Remember our brothers who rest in your peace. Make them sharers of eternal life. Lord, have mercy on your people. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You teach us, Lord, to discipline the body for the good of the soul. Give us grace to refrain from all sin, and set our hearts on fulfilling your precepts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.